Hi, Phil from Got Memories here, and just want to cover very quickly probably the biggest hurdle that most people have when they're looking to get their movie films transferred, which is I don't know what order to put them in. You've got films, a pile of them that look like this, and they've got, you know, uh, Jane's birthday, but you don't know what birthday it is, the first or the 15th birthday, and they're all just kind of all over the place. Well, you can run them through your projector, but you run a high chance of damaging them, and also it's a very time-consuming and laborious process, and you could end up getting half of it done, and then the bulb blows, and you're on eBay trying to find different bulbs and belts, and half of your film is stuck in here, and it's chewed it up. Some of the film we get in that's been run through projectors, um, comes back and we can't transfer it so you have gotta be very careful the bulbs in there run a very high temperature they can burn through film and is it in an instant so anyway let me just show you very quickly what can be done so you can avoid all of that headache and here it is so we can make each reel a separate file on the DVD or on the hard drive but this is just on a DVD right now so you've got a scene selection menu so here we're looking at number 17, 18, 19, 20 doesn't matter what the order they are, uh, what order they're in to begin with, you can get them transferred and then start to watch them in the chronological order. You've got them on the DVD. Let's see number seven here, and it'll pop up. Uh, and you can go to, let's have a look here. If we skip through, see, look, number eight and number nine. I apologize for the flickering on the screen, it's the difference in the frame rates between the camera I'm using and the TV. Um, so this means that once you watch them you can start to make a cheat sheet and start to understand what is on your films and what numbers are actually uh, corresponding to the reels and then put them back in order with the files. Uh, so say number 13 should be number 1, number 27 should be number 2 and you can put it back together with a jigsaw puzzle basically, like a jigsaw puzzle, with editing software very easily or if you wanted to ed um, upload them to Facebook, which a lot of people are doing now, creating a family page and uploading the files straight off the DVD um, and then naming them from there. Alternatively, again, very simple with editing software. You just drag and drop them into the sequence you'd like and then burn them back onto DVD and you get to eliminate the whole nightmare of these projectors. So there's a little tip there. Thank you very much.